What other platforms besides Python should you learn if you want to be a successful Python developer? This is a great question because I like the mindset behind it. You know, if you're if you want to be a great developer, if you want to have a great career as a developer, it's not just about learning one single programming language. It's very much about mastering one programming language above other ones, at least in the beginning. But in the long term, you want to kind of fan out and, and know your way around different programming paradigms, different languages. So if you want to start your career as a Python developer, there are complementary languages that mesh really well with learning Python. So um, just a couple of thoughts here. If you want to be a, a web developer, and you want to work with Python, I would highly encourage you to learn the basics of JavaScript and CSS as well. This is going to pay off hugely and actually throw in HTML there in the mix, like no question about it, you know, the, the standard web front end technologies. If you have a basic knowledge there, or you know, as much knowledge as possible, this is going to make your life as a back end developer so much easier. And um, really, this is something that I would focus on if you want to learn Python for web development, then you definitely need to build up some skills in the front end world as well. So get started learning the basics of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript for sure. Now, when should you do that? I would um, not spread myself too thin by trying to learn all of these at the same time. But um, it just makes sense to have the long term goal of, of becoming good at those, you know, because they, they just play such a huge role. And if you're doing any kind of web development, you want to feel comfortable in these technologies. Now, if you're coming or if you're planning to be more in the data science world, then you might consider, you know, picking up the basics of R as well, for example. And right now there's this big battle between Python and R and Python seems to be uh, seems to be actually winning by a large margin. And um, nevertheless, I think there is some great opportunity right now if you if you at least understand both languages you know if you can read r and maybe refactor and rewrite things in python then that's going to make you valuable because you are kind of the bridge gapper you know can you can gap the um the bridge and you can take over some code and rewrite it in python so this could be a valuable thing now if you want to be a mobile application developer and you're using python for the backends there again i would encourage you to learn the basics off whatever language is used on the client side there. Like if you're working on a project that's actually written in Python to do this, then great. But uh, if you're working on an iOS project, for example, in the front end, maybe it's written in React Native, then you want to learn JavaScript. Maybe it's written in uh, in the native language of that platform. So that would be Java for, for Android, and it would be uh, Objective-C or Swift for iOS. Then you definitely want to pick up the basics of that language so that you can bring value to the table if you're working with a team where you can jump in and just be like, yeah, you know, I'm, I've, I found this bug or whatever. And uh, I also made the front end fix. I also made the application fix, not just the API fix. And um, this might not be possible in, in any kind of situation. You know, a lot of companies, they unfortunately have like big separations between the front end and the back end teams, which in my mind is never a good idea. But you know, if you can kind of be the person that can jump in there, and uh, not just sit there and be like, yeah, I'm a back end developer, I never touch front end code, then that can bring a lot of value. And it's, it's also going to help you in terms of job security, right? Like if you always like there comes the point where you want to spread out a little bit and, and just bring more skills to the table. And you want to have that ability to be fluid in your programming career and go and learn another language. Uh, this is something that makes sense to build up as soon as possible. Because eventually, if you have a successful career as a programmer, if you want to have a successful career as a programmer, there comes the time where you will have to learn another language. If you want to do this for 20, 30, 40 years, Absolutely, you know, technology changes quickly. And eventually, you need to be able to pick up a new language and get comfortable with it quickly. All right, so those were some of my thoughts on this question. If this was helpful, then subscribe and leave a comment below if you want me to tackle your question. If you have a question that relates to Python software development, your software development career, just leave a comment below. And I'll try and cover it in one of my next videos.